This is my implementation of the 4-bit multiplier on logism for lab 7. Here is the full implementation. So X and Y are the 4-bit inputs. Um, each of them are like divided into 1 bits. X3 and Y3 are the most significant bits of X and Y, respectively. P is the 8-bit product of X and Y. P0, which is the least significant bit of the product, is um, an AND of X0 and Y0. And in regular implementation of, of multiplication, you um, multiply each bit of the first input to first the least significant bit of the second input and then so on. So that same pattern is implemented here where y0 is the least significant bit of the second input and each of them are anded with x1, x0, excuse me, x1, x2, and then x3. And then that pattern goes on with other ands. So there's a decreasing order with the ands. So x1, x0, you can see here x2, x1, x0, x3, x2, x1, x0. And then there is a increasing pattern with the second inputs. So y1, y0, y1, y0, y1, y2, and then so on. Um, each of the ands go into uh, adders. The output of the adders go to their respective um, p bits. And all of the carryouts go to other adders until the P7, which is the carryout of the final full adder. So if we were to test some numbers, for an example, 5 times 6, we get a product of 30. Even 5 times 4, which is a product of 20. Um, maybe 5 times 0, which the product goes out to 0, and even 15 times 1, which a product is 15. So the 4-bit multiplier is working within the 8-bit um, output ranges.